Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Echo Frontline. Echo Frontline is a channel where we discuss climate justice, climate resilience, and climate action. Today, I'm visiting a house, a house that is climate resilient. In this house, everything is powered by solar, and the house relies on water from a borehole. Pumps it using solar, powering the whole house and supplying the entire house with water. Leona Domare is the owner of the house. Welcome to the program. What inspired you to create such a beautiful, climate-resilient home? At first, while I was uh, constructing this area, uh, I thought of becoming independent in everything, not depending on anybody. Because of the issue with the power outages elsewhere, I decided that uh, I should be independent. I should have my own source of power where I, where I can run everything without any interruptions. Yeah. Number two, there was a need that uh, the money that is used to buy power elsewhere can be used to improve something else or a life of somebody. Somebody can get the school fees, even, even medication. Because this money, we buy power, and yet it is, the sun is free, it's free of charge. So I looked for a way, how can I be really eco-friendly? Number one was, I needed to have water, because water is life, water is a source of everything. Once I acquired water, then I decided, first I connected Kenya Power. The cost was too high, the cost was unbearable. Then I, decide, I said, okay, what if I design and see if I can put solar? Will it change? Yes, it was expensive, but I knew that it is expensive once. Mm -hmm. But in the entire part of my life, I would not, I would not again rely on anything. Yeah. I would be having my source of power. Mm -hmm. So I decided with the power to, to pump the water first. I continued using Kenya Power in the house. Later after I did the power of water, I realized I can again extend it to the house. So I extended it to the house. Then I realized I needed vegetables. I needed the food. Food that is not poisonous, food that is naturally cultivated. No chemicals. artificial chemicals, no artificial fertilizer, everything natural. Mm -hmm. Then I said, I cannot trust the vegetable that I buy. Why can't I plant mine? So I started planting vegetables. With the help of the water that has been bubbled with the soda, then I have a blend of water mm -hmm. or water. Whether there is rain, whether there is sunshine, I have vegetables, my compound is always eco green. Then later I realized again, I need to do this to make it as, as an example, because this is a desert area. Mm -hmm. I was asking myself, how comes this is Semi-arid actually. Semi-arid, I mean. Yeah. How comes this is and other countries that are in uh, arid areas or desert areas, they can produce and sell it to us? Mm -hmm. What is this that they do, that we can't do? Mm -hmm. Then now I said, okay, I have to use all means possible, have enough power from Sora. Because once you buy power, then the, the, the farming would be expensive. I wanted it to be cheap. In this, in so doing, I, my intention was I can be a role model that one day, one time, so a neighbor, an institution, a government can come and see and find out, yes, really, it is workable. It is not a desert, it is not a semi-desert. It is workable or weather round. And I have really achieved. Because if you go around my land, it's almost three and a half acres, uh, you can find that the water I have is vegetables, consumable foods, everything. I'm selling every day to the entire estate. Even schools come to buy from me. I don't 
take it out, they come to the doorstep, they pick and they... They fumigate. Uh, they fumigate. Mm -hmm. My house is big because it's six units. Yeah. All the units are self-contained. Again, I realized, how can I accommodate all the appliances that I need? This is for the I know. I need the gym because my, I'm aging. My children need some fitness. I need the kitchen. Yeah, you want warm water, you do like this. Yeah. You want hot water, you need cold water, you do like this. So it is running. All of that. Yeah. So then I said I would have to power the house completely 100% with the solar. So when you talk about the kitchen, mm. what kind of appliances are we talking about? In the kitchen, we have got uh, several uh, kinds of appliances. If I can start with, with the smallest, it's the blender. Mm -hmm. I have a blender for kitchen for us to consume. I have a blender to blend food for the chicken, mm -hmm. because I'm layering chicken as well. Okay. And uh, we are hatching eggs. This I have not said it because we have uh, Cluders, I'm hatching eggs, I make my own chicks here, and I, I list them, they become chick, uh, big hens, I sell, I get money. All is from Sora. Then we have the kitchen fridges, there are two in a number, they are all running together at the same time, using the Sora. Yeah. This is the big uh, fridge, the freezer. The milk does not go bad. The food is full here. It can finish even one full week, two weeks, without going bad. So we are secure. Yeah, yeah. any surplus food we can store. Also, the freezer here is, you can do it is empty. Also, it's running. Then the cooker, the cooker we have, it can use solar when we want to cook using solar. It, it cooks. It's electric. It is electric. It can use. Mm -hmm. And again, when we don't want to use it, we only use the solar to ignite, and then we use gas. gas. Mm -hmm. So it is us to choose what we want to do, but no direct light from Kenya power that we use. Mm -hmm. The Kenya power comes in only when the weather is bad. That is in July and August. So what do you mean when you say the weather? The weather, the, during, during the month of July and, and August in Kenya, in, uh, around the Nairobi area, the climate is so gloomy, so cold, the cloudy, so the solar acid are not able to charge the system. the system enough. So in that time now, we need to have a, an emergency backup which is Kenya power now. Mm -hmm. So it is, we have Kenya power for us a backup, so three for those two months. Mm -hmm. Beyond there, we don't need it, and we never use, we miss power anywhere. This is the those. power bank. It is going to store, store the power in this battery. Then the consumption will move from here mm -hmm. to the uh, consuming unit whether it is fridge, whether it is uh, that treadmill, it will consume from here. Yeah. This is ten, a 10 kVA okay. uh, storage uh, unit. Uh. This is the inverter. Equivalent. Uh, the, to convert the, from... Uh, the, it is the one that converts from uh, direct AC current. to AC. Alternative. Yeah. Then uh, it moves the power to the storage it. bank being an AC through this converter box. Okay. Yeah. This is a changeover. In case uh, the, the, the power runs off or the consumption is, was a bit higher, mm -hmm. then uh, it, co it converts from Sora. from Sora to electric. To electric. Yeah, but mm -hmm. just for backup only. Okay. Um, these are for solar water heaters, the heating system. After the solar water heater uh, releases the water, then th these are the gauges. It can run from here 
how the, uh, uh, he can monitor mm -hmm. from these units how the consumption is being consumed. This is uh, the strong room now. Mm. Mm. The way we even help the neighborhood, they don't have power. Mm. They come charge their telephones here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's free of charge. We don't send it to them. They, come, they bring their, their, their telephones, they charge and they go. It's for free. Then we have the TV. We have two TVs, one in the bedroom and another one in the sitting room. Mm -hmm. We have wa water dispensers. There are two. One is in one bedroom, and another one is here. The CCTV mm -hmm. is also purely installed, relying on SORA for surveillance 24-7. Mm -hmm. There's a security rights or a SORA. Everything is SORA everywhere in my compound. So you are off solar, uh, uh, electricity bills, water bills, and everything is working at your home? Exactly. exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. That sounds so interesting. Would you please share with us the initial cost of putting up this solarized, solarized system of water and uh, powering the entire house? Uh, according to my project, it is a bit expensive because my pothole is a bit longer, it's 350 feet below the ground. So we needed more power to bump the water from the pothole and then direct up to the elevated water tank storage. So in this, we used the solar panels that cost me, let's say, a little bit, around 1.7 million for water pump alone. Then, and the entire system of the water pump. Then, but in the long run, do you think you are, you, it was a wise investment? It is a waste in investment because in the future, in, it, in the future we intend that this water would be sold to the, ne to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it is an investment, it's like a business. Mm -hmm. So it can be, it, it could yield back the money and even go beyond. Mm -hmm. Even though we are not selling, I can imagine how many, how many pills I could have been paying to Kenya Power mm -hmm. to pump the water. I don't have any power, any period, it is zero. Mm -hmm. So it is an investment. Yeah. Since it is a long term, it is not ending one day, it can be used for a long period of time. Yeah, so it is an investment. So how is the maintenance of this system like? Do you experience major problems with the entire system, right from pumping the water, right from the borehole, the pumping of the water? and utilization in the house? Since we put this solar in 2022, mm. until today, we have not had uh, any major issue. So only that when it is a changeover, that's when we have, like when there is no an hour, an, an hour rays of sun, then they change over. Might be because now the system has got and used it to solar alone. Mm -hmm. So for it to adopt the Kenya power, that's when you can have a, high, a hiccup, mm -hmm. which means you have to put the circuit breaker down for the Kenya power and put it back. Mm -hmm. Then it continues writing. Mm -hmm. There is nothing much, no maintenance, no figure. It is absolutely comfortable mm -hmm. and manageable. So what would you advise people who? are looking at this program, who are watching this program right now? Uh, as the world continues to experience issues to do with climate change, and which are man-made, it is, uh, I would advise somebody to try this system. Mm -hmm. uh, this will reduce First of all, solar does not have any pollution anywhere. Yeah. There is no smoke. Mm -hmm. There is no heat. There is, no, there is no noise. 
you are a friendly people are cool wherever you are so yes. if people can be can 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 copy what we have done however it is expensive yes but they can invest and see the result the issue with the climate change, the, 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 the diseases, most of the diseases that we have nowadays that are even not manageable. The issue to do with the drought, the issue to do with the floods, the issue to do with the food shortages. Yeah. We can all make this our world green and friendly to all of us. A better phrase for everybody. Mm -hmm. But now, <coughs> again, I would advise somebody, you don't copy what I've done, you do it exactly the same. Do, you can start with the small, reduce a little, a little, another year a little, another year a little, by the end you would finish. Because you cannot say that let me do it once and finish like me. Everybody has his own capacity. So small, small, but we are moving out of the problem of climate change. Crisis, yes. Yes, it's a crisis. Mm. Mm. Now that you are looking at your home mm. as a place that you intend to make a training center mm. for other people to come and learn, mm. are there other eco-friendly uh, appliances that you are really thinking of to include on what you have already? Uh, I'm still growing. This is a start. My dream is that to make this one like an educational center to everybody, more so schools, the neighborhood schools, even from far. And I understand you have given it a special name. Exactly, already. yeah. What is the name? The name is Green World, mm -hmm. signifying this place outside can be dry. Whatever it is, it's okay. But when, once you enter inside, it is truly green. You check the walls outside, I've painted them green. Papua City, I want everything to be green, as the name suggests, it's a green world. Uh, the schools, I want the, ch the children to come and train here for free, for free. I want the government officials, the government institutions, the private institutions, the NGOs, they can come and witness that really it is possible in a semi-arid area. How often does it rain in this county of Machakos? Mm, the rain here is unpredictable. Totally unpredictable? Totally unpredictable. You, like at areas it is raining, but here you might hear of rain. Mm. It can rain uh, once a year. Mm -hmm. If you are lucky, it can rain twice, like in uh, April and August. And it's not guaranteed. And it's not guaranteed. Mm -hmm. But we are trying all around with us in December, green. Mm -hmm. Katazi, borehole, pump to enable the to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mr. Omar, thank you very much for according us this interview. Ladies and gentlemen, that's where we wrap our program today. Until next time, I'm your host, Isaiah Esipiso. Okay.